Her scans in the UK suggested a hole. She doesn't have a hole. I just saw the scans before coming down. She has thin bone. And for most people, that's not enough to justify surgery. Dr. Lee must deliver the news to Beth that there is no hole. Hello there. Good morning, Dr. Lee. Beth, great to meet you. First and foremost is that the scans seem to show that you don't have a true large hole of the inner ear, but rather the bone is extremely thin and perhaps a small crack is seen. These new findings raise fresh concerns for Dr. Lee and his team. And so this makes it even more of a challenging management decision because to su well, boy, you know, we haven't even really published this, but to successfully, well, I'll put it this way. So to address a patient with superior canal dehiscence, um, we generally would directly repair the hole. For an individual who has thin bone but not a true hole of the superior canal, the only way to potentially improve symptoms is to actually create the opening that's not yet there and then seal it.